Just how have you found the maturity for you as a player growth, especially this being kind of your first full season in the NHL? Uh, yeah, it's been fun. Um, you know, it's a stepping stone, obviously. I got uh, lots to learn still, but um, you know, I just try and come to the rink every single day to get better and, and, and to improve my uh, complete game. You know, it's a bit of a, it's some patience with the coaching staff just because the the youth and the, and the skill and the potential that you have as a player? They, they've done a great job this year, uh, you know, not just only with me, with the whole team. Um, especially some of the slides we've been in, just being able to respond and battle back uh, shows a lot of character from this group. So, um, you know, that's, that's part of being, uh, you know, uh, coaches in this league. So you got to be patient because you know there's going to be ups and downs in the season. With the line head into a game last night, knowing that there's good karma and, and you're going to play as well as you did, did you feel it early on? Uh, we definitely did. Um, you know, a couple of power plays early, you got a chance to feel the puck and, um, you know, that's always a good sign and we, we knew uh, as a line that it was going to come. We just had to direct more pucks than net and uh, you know, good things will happen. Joffrey's a pretty good passer, isn't he? Great passer, uh, great finisher as well. Um, he's a big body, he controls the puck and, and draws a lot of attention as well. So it uh, um, kind of gives you some more time and space. Now, as you've been through a lot in this market, has your confidence ever wavered like when you've gone through a slump or gone through anything? Or has it always been pretty uh, constant? Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, I, I believe in myself, uh, you know, even at some points where, where not, not a lot of people do, you just got to you know, trust in what you do and know at the end of the day that if you work hard and, and uh, you're trying to contribute to the team, that everything else is just going to fall in place. Do you kind of laugh or chuckle when you go through a bit of a dry spell and there is so much attention? Because I'm sure in the back of your mind you're like, geez, you know, I'm going to score like two in the next game. You're going to be doing a story on how yeah, great you are. All, all the time, really. Uh, it, it, it gets pretty humorous, some of the things that are being said. and. Um, you know, it seems like sometimes the truth is just so far-fetched, it's, uh, you know, it's definitely comical. So, um, like I said, you just got to kind of, um, you know, stay in the dressing room, just uh, talk to your support staff. My team has been, been unbelievable, and, um, you know, we're back on uh, the same page. What have you learned this season about, you know, your first full 82-game season that you're almost, you know, kind of three-quarters of the way through? Yeah, it's a grind, um, but, but I kind of knew that uh, coming in. Obviously, it's not going to be easy, and, um, you know, some of these... Uh, you know, road trips and road games are definitely uh, really challenging, and I don't think a lot of people understand how uh, difficult it is to get road points in this league. So uh, I think we've done an outstanding job so far, but there's uh, still plenty of hockey left. Did Randy talk to you at all about that uh, St. Louis shot at the very end in the third period where Bernie had to come across and make the save? Uh, no, not really. Um, you know, I realized I watched the film afterwards, and I kind of over back checked a little bit. But you know, at least I'm over back checking and not back checking at all. So, and, and, and Bernie's made a, a huge save to bail me out. So, uh, thanks to him.